Welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Nose. Like last time we left off, we finished my little trial, and we're gonna head down Route 6 to go see the Professor. I was on my way, at least closest to the area of the episode. Then Hal showed up. Hey, Dark One, how's it? I heard you, I heard your footsteps. We heard my Tauros, because I'm riding Tauros right now. Now I'm off Tauros. Heard you finished up Miles' trial, you know. Phew, that Miles special of hers was just good enough to break the mouth, eh? You head for the Mr. Resource Lab? You just gotta keep going straight away that way. Maybe I'll catch you there later. So yeah, we're on our way down Route 6 to the Dimensional Research Lab. Oh, you missed a trainer on this route. You need to train your Pokemon. Woman, I just finished the trials on this island. Do not, do not throw a good bitch at me. Oh, you have a Q-bone. I want a Q-bone. Got this donkey, though. It's a cool donkey who's gonna kick you in the face. Come on, Dale, you're doing it. Good job, Dale. Miss another trainer. Alola, Alola, welcome trainer. Let's see, psychic of Corio. Theme Park Dark Type, baby, they've been kidding us. Like, attack, which the only one I can learn is Nubbus Revelation Dance. So, yeah, this is a Pokemon that is cool in concept, but it's failed by the game. Oh, Peck is evolving. Wait, yeah, evolved to level 28. Peck evolved into Tucanian. We finished a page in the Pokedex. Look at this. Tucanian, the Canon Pokemon. When it battles, the its beak heats up and temperature can be easily exercised, exceeded, and easily exceed 212 degrees Fahrenheit, causing severe burns when it hits. Sure, we'll learn Blast Beak. Tucanian is a Pokemon that I quite like. I like the design of it. I do like the whole, as you notice with this animation, if you look at the bottom screen part here, the beak, that's kind of a rainbow thing, but that, that, that signifies different temperatures that it's at. One thing I let down upon is the fact that 
Like everyone else, I think it should probably be like a fire fly type or some kind of typing that's not normal flying. If only because, you know, it mentions how the beak heats up. It's just like it's a bit of a waste to have that cool little detail of it and it not take advantage of it with a typing difference. I mean, yeah, I guess they're trying to get away from the fire fly, from fire flying because last generation they had Fletchling's line. But, you know, still pretty cool. Yeah, it's still pretty much a shame that it's not taking advantage of it from much typing. I find it kind of funny how we're just talking about evolution while we're kicking it. The ass was pre evolution right there. That's what it gets for taking out Carl. We're back in Hee Haw City, and this guy still won't let us pass. So we're gonna go this way now. What do you have to say? Wait a second. How do you get to how do you get to Panola Town again? Was it going down Route Four or um, a lost tourist? No, don't never use use splash. What? <laughs> uh, I was trying to act like like I was dark one. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought I would want to be one myself. But when I see Dark One and How, it it look it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Oh! Um, oh, Dark One, hello. I feel like it's been hot since we last met. There's a laboratory here that studies dimensions. Did you know that? And the professor was waiting to meet you. How, how were your trials? It must have been quite trying to, to do three in a row. You think so? But still, you made it through all three. Nah, I think that explains it. The reason why he looks up the tent understood by Mudbury there, I mean. You literally don't, don't ask about what happened to Cutie Fly. Wait, what? There's an item back here. A big mushroom. Yeah, not that impressive, honestly. You're going to the Bishop Police Search Lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell you, after all, there's nothing else upstairs. Mission Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard about some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. Hey, a Hoopa reference, nice. The only choice you have is the third floor, so I'll just go straight up. Hey there, honey. Oh, hi. This is Professor Burnett. She goes to Dimension Research Lab, yeah? She is also my wife. You're a dark one, right? Lily told me about you. She said you you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on the beach. Toss walking her bag also unconscious. Huh? No how today? How he's not doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna just like old Hawa. Before him. You think so? Woo! Oh, well yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hal. It's been almost since I last saw you. Anyway, Dark One here, because I want you to tell her about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Lola. I'll be happy to. The mystery the mysteries of Alola, huh? you've got to mean the ultra wormhole. Extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It happens 
that the that this rift is a different so a different and unknown dimension. The reason that the people think the reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends. The fears of Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's a very it's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There are plenty of there's plenty of evidence already in a Pokedex for a different reasons of different dimensions, right? For some Pokemon. Even even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appear out of the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They called them Ultra Beasts and they were feared. If the stories were to believe, the Guardian deities of Alola the Guardians of the Islands fought desperately against them. Like I said, it was all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know which is true. But I would be happy if I could get some, if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. You've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelves in the lab. So let's go explore the lab a bit. Because quickly we will not last out unless we do. Hey, Magnemite. Giratina, this Pokemon says to live in a world the reverse side of ours, where common knowledge is a sword and strange. Not obvious. Palkia, it says to control the boundaries of space, enable, enable it to teleport itself to faraway dimensions or even other dimensions. The Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Interim Dream Zone. Uh, a bit of bastard for Sir Burnett. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this up on screen or not. Uh, but she doesn't premiere in this game. She premieres in a Pokemon side game for the original 3DS. I mean, for the original DS, uh, which is how you got the others, which is how you got some special Pokemon in that game. It was originally a Black 2, White 2 game. Uh, basically a Gen 5 game. I forget the name of it. Pokemon, uh... I'll, I'll get back to you on that, but yeah, that's where she originally premiered. But the basic game was sort of an AR game where you would look around the area and hit laser beams of Pokemon in order to catch, hit laser beams of, beams of light in order to catch Pokemon and hit items and whatnot. It's also how you got the alternate forms for the Weather Trio. You know, Thunderous, Slanderous, uh, forgot the last one's name. You know, those three. There was a man named Mona. Who years ago published a story about the Ultra Wormholes? Huh, Mona. Like in the guy that runs the uh, Poké Pelago? That's an interesting fact right there. If you use the rest of the recorder, you can not only rewatch old battles you had with others, you can even hold mock battles against the teams captured in a battle video. That's why battle videos are, are the best. If you use battle teams, you can not. You can, not only register six teams from your boxes, but also register the same Pokemon from one from one battle team at a time. That's why battle teams are the best. I'm about to check out Deepless Tunnel next. It's a wonderful cave made by Pokemon, right? You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I want to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my stories, staying up all night to hear it, and then she got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me a loft to stay in. She told me to help me she she told him to help me investigate Debbie's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind and she's still help trying to help me find a way to get Nebby back to his own home. She's been like like a real mother to me. How do you feel about that, Nebby? Hmm. Slowpoke. There are many rides at the interim dream zone that exist between dreams, reality, and dreams. They've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions. And books you find them in the bookshelves in the lab. Brown Zone. A brought raised by opening portals to another world. It, it was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvest. 
How about that, Doc? Or when the Ultra Beasts really are out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. If it is all three of a little of a college trials, woo. No one now comes the big match against Olivia. The Island Kahuna. The biggest and baddest trial of all of them all here on call the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is passed in the tunnel in Coney Coney City. <clears throat> Watch out for Team Skull. I still have things I want to talk about Fresh and Burn about, so I'll stay here. I'm off the I'm off the I'm gonna check out the hotel next. It's a cave made by Pokemon, right? <laughs> Diglett Tunnel. That means we're gonna run into a lot of Diglett. Nah stop. I've already caught one Diglett. That's not good. But when is the sky hole ever good? What was that just now? It looks like a crack in the sky. Hey, Dark One. So you've made it through all three chapter the captain trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past the tunnel. But the tunnel is, let's see, from here, it's near the PMC. It's Easy to walk right past it, so keep your eyes peeled. Now we're gonna spell this all the time. Now oh, this place. In every game, there's just a place like this. Game Freaks Labs. They basically had a little developers inside the game. Anyway, you can go in here and see the Game Freak staff, or at least representations of the Game Freak staff. For a player, we've been making games here. What color would you choose? Pika Pika, Pikachu, Chu? Right, now, interesting. I say you're the probably the type who stays true to your heart and says as you want. Are you out and about to Adam Talents? Well, you completed it. Come on back. Don't forget about me here, okay? I want to keep working on the game, so I've got to keep my item. I need some vitamins. Here, I'll give you one, too. Thanks for stopping by. I found your adventure. Yeah. Now, I don't know how one to one this is a mock up of the Game Freak Laboratory, of the Game Freak actual Game Freak office, but it's a pretty cool, neat Easter eggs. Their ideas for video games written down. Maybe you should add a few touches. I'm the game director. It's pretty fun to fill Pro Codex, you know. When you've made some progress, don't forget to come show it to me. I think we've messed around around here and around. Again, it's pretty cool to see uh, the Game Freak office. A uh, representation of it in the actual game. Chances of a counter shot here about 4,000 to 1. We never countered one. Even the Anthony Labs had their own place. But the Foundation has their own place in this building, too. This seems cool, but feels like her Pokemon as if it's fun or something. I wonder if we should also fight a stop evil act, the evil act of Team Skull. Through the Foundation, we work to help protect people, Pokemon that have been hurt. What do you think makes Pokemon happy? What is happiness anyway? For me, it's enough to have friends that I can go eat and then have fun with together. More fresh water still? Your HP is already full by now. No place about going to find if you just wandered around. Like I'm doing now. Getting the nice cool little Easter eggs. Nothing really too major, just just cool 
Again, cold Easter egg. Anyway, beyond here, still the tunnel. It's getting back to Zoo Back Cave all over again. Let's talk to this guy first. But since you have the real time decks, then you must have a great time with Festival Plaza, right? Blah, 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 Festival Plaza. And I'll see you saving that for next time. See you all then, everybody.